like routine. Uh, I always forget to introduce myself. Let's do that again. Let's just do that again. Hey guys, it's Kara. Welcome back to my channel. Did I just did I just do that? No, we're not doing that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kara. For those of you who are new, um, what's today? What are we doing today? We are doing an everyday makeup routine video. Um, a lot of you guys have been suggesting this, and so I thought it'd be fun to film it. Um, I get questions about what I use on my face and what foundation I use, and we just need to take a moment of silence. My ride or die favorite foundation that I've been using for literally the past two years shattered. It shattered. Okay. I shattered it. I killed it. So this past weekend I was cleaning our bathroom and I was just moving stuff around on the counter and totally just knocked it over. She's gone. Okay. She's gone. My favorite foundation, the last bottle I had of her. But I just wanted to say that the foundation I have been using, if you've asked and if you've been curious, it's the number seven foundation. I will link it down below as well as all the products that I use in this video if you guys would like to purchase them. Just wanted to put that out there. But regardless, I filmed this. Um, I actually just finished and I wanted to just do the intro really quick. So thank you guys so much for watching and suggesting this video. And we're just going to get right into the makeup. Okay, so I'm just going to hop right into it. I do have my FaceTime pulled up on my laptop in front of me. So if you're looking down, I'm sorry if that bothers you. But I can't see. I put my glasses on for the first time this morning and I was just like, whoa. The first thing I do is pry my face. I'm using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Um, I just pop this all over my nose and like my cheek area right here and my chin gets like the biggest pores. If you guys have any tips on that, by the way, help a girl out because I literally have the worst pores, but that's okay. Um, I don't like love this primer, but I don't hate it. I guess it's just you kind of get what you pay for with a drugstore primer, so yeah. The next thing I do is go in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I feel like I've used this concealer since I was in like probably 8th grade. <laughs> I feel like everyone has used this concealer or uses this concealer. This is in the shade Ivory and I put this on my cheek areas and my chin because I have the most acne scarring on my um, cheeks. So I just like to run it over there and I blend it out with my beauty blender. I feel like this just kind of evens out my skin tone for a good canvas for my foundation to lay on. So I'm just going to blend all that in. Okay, so the next step is foundation. Um, and since my number seven shattered, this is the one I'm currently using. It's the Rimmel Wake Me Up Anti-Fatigue Skin Brightening Foundation. Um, it has vitamin C, which is honestly why I chose it. It just stuck out to me. Um, it has SPF 20, and I'm in the shade 103 True Ivory. Um, I have a little bit of self-tan on still, kind of, so this matches that pretty well. But if I didn't, this would not be it. <laughs> this would not be the shade. I'm just going to take about a pump and a half. Maybe not quite, and just dot that all over my face with the beauty blender and just um, blend it and make sure I dot it down the neck. And then I take um, an e.l.f. foundation brush and I just kind of rub that in. Don't forget your ears, kids, because that's really embarrassing. <laughs> I know that number seven is technically a drugstore foundation because you can get it at Target and um, I don't know if you can get it at Walmart. You used to be able to get it at Ulta, I don't know if you still can, but I know that it technically is. It's just been a really long time since I've strayed away from that foundation and used like CoverGirl or Revlon or Rimmel or anything like that. Like It's been a long time since I've used a drugstore foundation like one of those, so I was really nervous to use this because... I don't know, drugstore, like I'm already so acne prone and drugstore foundations just break me out so much more. Um, but this one, from what I have seen, I, I mean from how it's been laying on my skin and do, doing with my skin, it hasn't broken me out anymore and it lays really nicely. It is like a light to medium coverage foundation. I'd say that it's definitely buildable, so I like it and it doesn't feel cakey or look cakey, at least to me. So, so far so good, but... 
When I go back home in May, I'm stocking up on my number seven foundation. I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and just blend out any like brush strokes or anything like that. Just make sure it's really, really um, soaked into the skin. Okay, so now I'm going in with a concealer. This is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I picked it up when I got the foundation as well. So I just pop that under my eyes, on my chin, and then on any acne spots that I wanna add a little bit more coverage over. Okay, so I'm actually gonna pop some of this concealer on my eyelids as well, I totally forgot. Now I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D uh, Brightening Powder. This stuff is amazing. I actually got this like maybe six months ago and I used it and I just didn't use it right or something, I don't know, but I hated it. And then I started using it again like a month ago and I'm obsessed, I love it. I'm gonna take what's in the cap and just take a little concealer brush and I'm gonna pack some of that on the brush and then pop that on my eyelids to set that um, cream concealer. This powder is so fine that it just blends so nicely and it just soaks into your skin so well. And I don't know what it is, I just have really, like my under eyes crease so easily. So I take that same brush and powder and I just pop that in the inner corner of my eye. And then for the same reason, I take a little fluff brush. You might be better off using a denser brush, but this is just what I have that's small enough. Um, but I'm just taking this broken fluffy brush and generously putting that underneath my eye. And I just bring it all the way up so that it just, once it's blended away, it'll like lift up my eyes a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to bake the rest of my face and I'm using the Airspun powder. I love this stuff and I'm almost out of this as well, which is really sad. I'm gonna just take a dense face brush and press that into the brush. And um, I like to press this on my chin and my cheek area mostly, just because it's where I feel like I need it the most. Okay, so I'm gonna let those powders sit on my face to just kind of let them bake. What's next? I'm going to bronze. I'm using the L'Oreal True Match powder, so this is technically not a bronzer, but I just use it to bronze. Um, this is their neutral line, and it's in the shade Classic Tan. I'm just gonna take an angled fluffy brush and bronze my face. <laughs> Make sure I blend that down on the neck and on my chest. Okay, and then I'm gonna pop a little bit of that on my nose, like the um, sides of my nose. Then, I'm gonna take my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna use the shade Warm Taupe on a fluffy elf brush. And I'm going to contour my nose a little bit and just like carve it out and make it look how I want it. Just make it look a little bit smaller. This lighting right here is so good. Now I'm going to wipe away all of that powder just with a fluffy brush. Ugh, you guys, it literally like, you have to get this brightening powder because it's so good. It just lifts your face. Like, I just can't believe I forgot I had it. Do you guys ever do that? Like, you have Bright or Dye products and you just forget that you have them and then you use them again and you're like, oh my gosh, what was I doing without you? The reason that I resort to this so much is because, like I said earlier, I crease so badly under my eyes. So when I put this concealer on, I didn't put it like right underneath my lashes like I would typically do. I've used so many concealers. I've used the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which is like everyone swears by it. And I just didn't, it just didn't work for me. That's why I like the brightening powder so much is because I don't have to, like it conceals and just like brightens for me. I don't know. And now that the face is done, um, I'm gonna do my brows. And I use the Modern Renaissance Palette again. I just go between the shades Warm Taupe and Cypress Umber and I take that with a like a little angle brush and I'm gonna actually do my brows 
off camera and then I'll be right back because I need to get like really up close in the mirror. So I'll be right back. So brows are done. Now I'm going to do my eyeshadow. Just taking that same fluffy brush that I used to contour my nose. And I'm going to take warm taupe and burnt orange. And I'm just going to run that through my crease. These eyeshadows already blend super nicely. Um, but you just want to make sure you blend really, really well. And now I'm going to take Primavera just on my fingertip and put that in the inner corner just to kind of make my eyes pop. Okay, sorry guys, my card was full and I had to dump it, so if the framing is a little bit different, that is why. Um, but I did my crease, my inner corner, the only thing I did off camera was my mascara. So I used the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and I have been loving this stuff. I've only been using it for about a month, but I love it. It lengthens my eyelashes, it makes them look cooler and thicker. And for a while, the mascaras I've been using just kind of like crumbled underneath my eyes super easily and I didn't understand why because I've never really had that issue but I love this stuff it's great okay, so next I'm going to highlight and I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette this is very loved and very beat up so I literally just take a fat fluffy fan brush and I just do that number <laughs> and I put it on my cheeks and my nose all of that, a little bit on my temples, and call it good. And then I do blush, and I like to do my highlight before I do blush because I feel like it just, I don't know, it just makes you look more dewy. So I'm going in with my e.l.f. blush, and my e.l.f. blush is in the shade Peachy Keen. And I'm just going to take a little blush brush and pop that on the cheeks. I have never been a blush girl, and now I am. I'm a blush girl. Okay, and then I also like to pop a little bit of that on the nose. Oh, um, something that I forgot to do, and I always do it before my mascara, I just completely forgot, and that is popping some color underneath my um, bottom lashes. Um, so I just take the warm tone and the burnt orange like I did in my crease, and I run that underneath my eyes. I don't know what it is, but I do not feel complete without doing this step, so I, I'm just gonna do it anyway, even though I already have my bottom mascara on. I just feel like this really makes my eyes pop, and it just kind of smokes it out a little bit more. Makes it look like I put a little bit more effort into it, so I love that. I don't typically wear lipstick or lip gloss or anything really other than lip balm, so I'm just gonna grab it out of my purse. Yeah. So I use the Lucas Pop Pop ointment. I think this is just an Australian brand. You can probably just get on Amazon. I don't know, but I love this stuff. So I just pop that on. Okay. And that is it. That is my everyday makeup routine. For the most part, I don't really stray away from anything other than what I did in this video on other days when I want to do a little something more. Um, so this is the base of it. I know it's not a lot, but I did have a lot of fun filming this. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I seriously appreciate it so much. Leave video suggestions down below in the comments if you have any for me, and I will get to them as soon as I can. Yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!